Did you know that you can set up a way of creating a terms and conditions page or activity that then restricts access to everything that's in the rest of your course until a student has accepted the terms and conditions? And it's quite simple. It's not 100% fantastic way of doing it, but it is actually quite clever and really sensible and really simple to do so. So let's jump in and have a look. I have a course created called Terms and Conditions. Example course, by the way, my name is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au. Just need to let you know that in case you didn't know yet. Great to meet you. What I've done is set up this course, Terms and Conditions example. It's a simple course, just has some course content and an assignment, and that's all that's in there. But we want to restrict access to all of this depending on if they accept their terms and conditions for actually doing this course. All we have to do is turn edit mode on, go into add an activity and we choose the choice activity. So let's grab choice. So we put in the choice name terms and conditions. So that's the name of this activity. In the description, we need to actually have the terms and conditions. So that will be all of your terms and conditions that relate to accessing or using this course. Go down to the options and we leave everything exactly how it is. The only part we need to fill in is one option. And that one option is I accept the terms and conditions. So we've got that in, that's perfect, all we need there. Don't need to do anything else with that. We jump through the rest of the settings. Availability, we leave how it is. Results, do not publish results to students is exactly what we want because we don't want other students to know that other students have accepted the terms and conditions, that's irrelevant to them. Common module settings will stay the same. Restrict access stays the same. Activity completion we do need to do. Show activity as complete when a student must view it to complete it. Show as complete when user makes a choice. So the one we need is show as complete when a user makes a choice. They've only got one choice to make. So when they make that one choice, they've accepted it. If they don't make that choice, they haven't accepted. And that's the only condition we need. Save and display. This is what they get. The terms and conditions. There is the actual terms and conditions that you put in there. Then all they have to do is accept and save their choice. That's it. Nothing else. You can in the instructions have more information saying, you know, tick the box beside I accept the terms and conditions. If you accept the terms and conditions, then save my choice. If you want to be more descriptive and help the students or users understand what it is they're doing. So that's the first part. We've got that bit in. We now go to our content. All we need to do is edit each of the topics. Do it by topic basis rather than by individual page. Otherwise, it'll take you forever. So we just go edit topic, restrict access, add restriction, activity completion and then all we're looking for is the terms and conditions and it must be marked as complete and we save changes jump down to our assignments topic as well and do exactly the same thing set our restrict access restrict access activity completion to terms and conditions must be marked as complete save changes and if we now have a look i'll turn edit mode off so it's a bit cleaner they have the terms and conditions here. If you want to put a label above that that said, says, please uh, accept the terms and conditions before you can access the rest of the course. Then the course content is restricted based on the terms and conditions being completed, restricted again based on terms and conditions being completed for the assignments. And that's all we have to do. Quick look at that from a student perspective so you can see what the student sees. Our student is now logged into the course, terms and conditions example course. And here's the terms and conditions. So they click on the terms and conditions. Well, before that, we probably should show you that they don't have access to any of the other content yet. And it says not available unless the activity terms and conditions is marked complete. So terms and conditions, I accept, save my choices. Perfect, all done. The results are now currently viewable. Uh, you selected, I accept the terms and conditions. So they know that they did accept them. When they go back into the course now, they have access to all the rest of the information Although this one doesn't open until that time because I didn't change the setting. I hope you found that useful. It's a really simple solution to a problem that a lot of people do have with their courses where they have specific conditions that have to be met or approved or the student or client has to provide certain information that has to happen first. That's all you need to do is set up, in this case, a choice activity. It could be an assignment that says upload this information, we'll check it and if it's all good to go, we'll then give you access to the rest of it by saying that you've passed that assignment does a similar type of thing. Hope you found it useful. My name is Chris Richter from ricochet.com.au. Check out in the comments the courses that we have there. If you think that might be useful to you, feel free to jump in and have a look and see what you can find. Some great courses there. 
and I'll talk to you again soon.